this guy. This guy is my best friend. Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Be Hooked TV. So in today's episode, I'm going to share my personal experience with six different crochet hooks. I wanna give you my unbiased, full disclosure opinion of each crochet hook. So what I like, what I don't like, and by the way, I am not being endorsed to make this video. None of the brands have asked me to say anything. They're not paying me to say anything. I just wanna give you my true opinion so you can take it and relate it to your crochet style so you can decide if one of these hooks might be right for you. Okay, so this hook is a Furls Odyssey and it's the rose gold version. For me, this crochet hook is my spirit animal. I don't know what it is recently, but I have just really become fond of rose gold and cool neutral, so like the sort of like a pearly white color even grays and that sort of thing. So this hook is the absolute most pleasing to the eye. I sort of treasure this. I love taking photos of it. I've got it displayed here in my office because I love looking at it. However, the hook style itself is a little different than what I'm used to. So I know if I were to sort of press on and work through that, it would become a favorite hook of mine, but because I've got my like favorite go-to and you'll hear what that is in a little bit, I just, I just always gravitate towards that hook. Some things I really like about the Furls Odyssey hook is the weight and specifically the weight distribution. So if I were to sort of hold this hook in the middle, ideally it should level itself, right? If the weight is evenly distributed, but the material that the hook is made of is much heavier than the material that you have on the handle. So as I let go of I mean, it kind of release my top finger here, it wants to slant downwards. Crocheting with this, what I found is that sort of helps things along because you can just really relax your fingers and it sort of dips down and goes into position. That's really good. It's really great for ergonomics. Another thing I like about the Frills Odyssey is the thickness. And this I actually don't get with my favorite crochet hook. I wish I could kind of blend the two together. It's so much wider it's easier to hold on to, and I have less hand fatigue when I do. Again, I don't know why I don't go to this hook more often. It's beautiful, it's a great hook to work with. And the material that the hook is made of, it's smooth. That's another really good benefit to it. So there's not quite a lot of drag on the yarn or basically like feeling like you're fighting with the yarn. I really love that about the Furls Odyssey. My one disadvantage, I guess, to the Furls Odyssey is that they're a little bit pricey. Now, this one was actually sent to me by Furls Crochet, so I did not pay for this hook. It was gifted to me from them, and by the way, not for this video. They sent it to me when this first came out, so almost a year ago. I love it, and I would love to have the full set, but I just don't know that I would fork out the money for a full set. So if you are looking for a birthday gift for yourself or something to put on your wish list, this is probably what I would do. If you're really wanting like the Cadillac of crochet hooks, something that's beautiful to look at, and if you're looking for something a little more pricey. By the way, the Furls Odyssey comes in different colors too. Actually, I have one here with me, which is a version of gold and red. And they have several other colors as well. These are the only two I own personally, um, but they do come in like blue and purple, I think. There's a lot of different options. Now, another really interesting thing about the Odyssey is that it's the, the hook itself, sort of like a blend between a tapered and an inline hook. And that's what's really different about it for me. But the more you work with it, the better it feels. It's sort of like the best of both of those versions, the inline and the tapered, all just mixed up in one pretty little package. Okay, we're moving along now because we have five more hooks to go through. The next one I want to show you is this guy. Now this is the Clover Soft Touch hook. And honestly, this was one of the first hooks I ever bought. 
it was the first ergonomic crochet hook I ever bought. And I really like a lot of things about this hook, minus the handle. Now for me, if you've seen any of my tutorials, you know that I sort of twist the hook to, to make my yarn overs and that sort of thing. It just helps me cut down on my wrist fatigue. But with the soft touch hook, it sort of has like a flatter handle and it's almost like squared off. So for me, this doesn't rotate as easily in my fingers. And for me, that was kind of a deal breaker. I could see this hook being really useful for somebody who is a pencil grip. It's actually very, very comfortable to hold it that way. I just don't really know how to crochet that way. Now, the other thing I really like about this hook, and I actually share this with one of the other hooks we'll look at in just a moment, is the material that the hook itself is made of. This has sort of like a matte finish. That's the best way I can describe it. It feels not completely slippery, and that's really great for a yarn situation. It's not super slippery, so I think it's really great for beginners, somebody who doesn't really have a whole lot of control over their stitching and their hook and what they're doing, but it's not so much drag that it makes it feel like work. As far as pricing goes, I purchased just this single hook from my local craft store. I probably used like a 40% off coupon because that's sort of how I like to do things, but the, it is available in a set and it is a pretty affordable option. If you wanted to get the full set, you're not gonna drop a hundred bucks. You're probably not even gonna drop 50 bucks. It just depends on where you buy it from and if you have a coupon for it, but totally affordable, nice and ergonomic, easy on your hands. This one might be the right one for you. All right, moving on to the next hook, this guy. These are crochet light crochet hooks. And I bought this because it's too cool not to buy. <laughs> the big selling point, if you will, about this crochet hook is that it actually lights up. There's an LED light in this and it lights up the tip of the crochet hook. And when you're working with dark colored yarns, that makes it a dream because you can really see the stitch. If you're working with a black yarn or a navy yarn or like charcoal, and you often have a hard time seeing your stitches, this might be the right answer for you because the light isn't offensive. I mean, you could look at it, it's not super bright, but it lights up the yarn just enough so that you can actually see the stitch and see where you're working. The one drawback for me about crochet light hooks is that it's a plastic material. There are tons of people out there who just absolutely love working with plastic. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I did not start crocheting with plastic. I feel like that has something to do with it. But for me, there's just too much drag there. There's also a squeak factor to it, which drives me a little bit insane. <laughs> so as you're working your stitches with a plastic hook, it can sometimes make some squeaky noises. And if that doesn't bother you, you'll have no problem. As far as pricing goes on the crochet light hooks, they're about middle of the road. I honestly can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was in the ballpark of like eight bucks, but again, it really just depends on where you buy it and if you have coupons and that sort of thing. And this particular hook is available in a range of sizes and you can get it as a set, um, but it's not going to get you a full set of crochet hooks. You're not gonna go all the way down to the really small sizes or all the way up to the jumbo crochet hook sizes. Now, like the others that we have looked at previously, this has a tapered hook. And so for me, that's like perfect. It's right up my alley. But because of that plastic and the little drag factor there, this one's just not right for me. I really don't use these very often, but I do think that they're pretty cool to pull out every now and then just because they light up. All right, now the next hook, this guy. This guy is my best friend. Now, I don't want to have just a completely biased opinion on this one. These are the Tulip Edimo crochet hooks. I love this. This is my absolute favorite crochet hook. I purchased this set about three years ago now, and I have crocheted pretty much every single stitch of every project I've ever done since then, and they're still in excellent condition. At the time, I was sort of worried that the printing would come off of the handle. That's not the case whatsoever. They're just perfect. They're perfect for me. Now, one of my favorite things about 
the Tulip Enamel Crochet Hook is the handle. I mentioned before that I like to twist my hook as I work, and this handle allows me to do that with ease. I've got a flat piece for the thumb, so I have sort of like a thumb rest, and the hook itself is more of a slippery material than the Amore or the soft touch hook. For me, that's perfect. I don't really mind the extra drag from that just sort of like matte finish versus this super like shiny finish, but I can crochet a lot faster with this. And that's really the bottom line. I increased my speed when I transitioned to this particular hook from my boy to standard run of the mill boy crochet hooks because of the shaping of the crochet hook itself. It's a little more shallow. So there was a learning curve there. The boy hooks are a lot deeper. And so they sort of hold on to the yarn a lot better. But this particular one is shorter. And so I would often like drop the stitch all the time. But that was really just throughout that first project until I started just getting used to the hook. They are available in different sizes and in different sets. So this is the black set. It's got black handles. All of the handles are black. All of the crochet hooks are this gold color and it's a little bit pricey. It really just depends on when and where you buy it. I've seen them as low as $50. I paid 115, I believe, for this full set. Now it comes with a case and I'll link to a, a review that I've done this for this particular hook if you want to check it out and to see what it's all about. You'll also find a steel version of this available. So those are like the really, really small thread sized crochet hooks. And then they have a couple of novelty ones as well where the grips are pink and the case is different and that sort of thing. So you'll find a couple of varieties if you find that this is the right crochet hook for you. The main takeaways for this one is that it's lightweight. The hook itself is tapered. It's ergonomic, but flexible, we'll say, because I'm able to sort of twist it. And that's just really what I love about this crochet hook. I am comfortable and I can crochet faster with it. All right, now moving on to the fifth crochet hook. This is another Earl's hook. This is their newer Streamline crochet hook. Now, when I first received this crochet hook, I thought that I was not going to like it. And that's because one, it has that different hook style. So the one where it's sort of a blend of an inline and a tapered, it's just different than what I'm used to, but it's also made of wood. And I know from personal experience that I don't like working with wood for the same reason that I don't like working with plastic. There's just a higher drag factor to it and I crochet slower with it. But I worked an entire project with this hook and I found myself really surprised by how much I enjoyed it. It's so different from what I'm used to, but it was different in all the right ways. One thing you might notice here is the, the shaping of it. You really are supposed to hold it at its widest point right here to sort of get the benefits of the ergonomic shape. And then you'll see the hook is way, way down here. So it, that might only look like a few inches and it, it really is. But when you look at it compared to what you're used to, I'm used to holding the hook all the way down here on the tulip and just having this little bit of extra hook to deal with. Well, with the Streamline, you've got all this extra room. I found that to be really surprising and it made me not have to move my hands as much. But for me, the wood and the shape of the hook is enough to keep me going back to the Tulip Edamo hooks. But I have to say that out of all the wooden crochet hooks that I've ever used, and I've used a ton of them. This is the lowest drag that I've ever found. Basically it has the lowest amount of friction on the yarn. So I was still able to crochet pretty fast with this option. Now the Streamline hooks are one of the more affordable hooks that you can get from Frills Crochet. I believe they'll cost you between 16 and $20. Again, if you're looking for an entire set, that's a bit of money that you're gonna put down if you want to get 10 crochet hook sizes. For me, I found that just having one in my favorite size is really the best way to go for me because I know that I'm always going to go back to my favorite hook. And I just really like having this as something to something different. 
to work with. All right, so now the last crochet hook. This is a close second favorite to my Tula Bedimo. This one is the Clover Amour, and it was really my first love after my boy hooks. One of the things I really love about the Amour hooks, actually there's quite a few things. One thing that you can see right off the bat is the color of the handle. For me, that's what attracted me to it first. I just loved the bright colors. And by the way, every hook size in the set is a different color. So this is the eye. You'll find that this one's green. As far as the handle goes, it's the right size to get sort of like an ergonomic or comfortable grip. And I'm able to twist it sort of like I told you I like doing before. And there's also a flat section for your thumb to rest on. Now, like the soft touch hooks, this hook looks and feels the same way. It's just a different color. So if you know that you like working with one or the other, then, I mean, you'll like both of them because the shaping, the size of it, the relative size of it, and the material, the feel of it, it's exactly the same. For me, I really, really like the, the feel, the size, and how you're able to work with the Amour and with the soft touch hooks. If you remember, what I didn't love about the soft touch was just the flat grip. This solved that problem for me because it's rounded, I'm able to twist it. And so that's why this was sort of like my first love after my boy hooks. Now, the reason why I transitioned from the Amour to the Tulip was really just because I wanted to try it out. I actually ended up buying just one crochet hook for the, the Tulip in just one size. And I worked an entire project with it and I fell in love. I know that they're a favorite in the community. So this is something that's worth trying out. As far as cost goes, they're similar to the soft touch hooks. Again, I bought these individually from my craft store. I used coupons for them. And I believe I paid somewhere in the ballpark of $7 for one. Now, if you're buying the set, of course, you're gonna put down a little bit more money because you're getting a lot of hooks. And there's a couple options available. You can get a set that doesn't have a case and you can get a set that does have a case. So depending on what you like, you're gonna pay a little bit more or a little bit less. One thing I would recommend though with any of these crochet hooks is to just buy one and try it out first. Don't dive into a set unless you're 100% sure because all of the hooks that we've talked about, the sets can get pretty pricey. And it's a hobby, right? It's something that we do to relax and in our free time. And we just don't always wanna drop hundreds of dollars for crochet hooks. But on the other hand, it's really nice to have the tools on hand when you need them and not have to run out to the store every single time you start a new project. So these are just six hooks of many, many, many hooks that are in my collection. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section. I would love to sort of give you my opinions and my thoughts on some of the other hooks in my collection. Or if there's one that you're specifically interested in taking a look at or hearing more about, leave it in the comment section below. If I have it on hand, I'll be happy to share my thoughts and sort of put together another video just like this one. And one more thing before you go, if you haven't subscribed to this show already, will you please do that now? It would just mean the absolute world to me. It actually is a great way to help out the show and to help me out just by hitting that subscribe button. So thank you for that. Thank you for your time and attention today. I really do appreciate the opportunity to share some of my thoughts about these crochet hooks with you. And I look forward to serving you in the next video. I'll see you there.